Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more spiritual breakdowns of the Bible, which I'm going to be talking about homosexuality, you know, LGBTQ, but it's mainly dedicated to gay men, okay? Now, remember, I am the first person, I'm the first woman in history to come out as gay. Remember, I told you I married my first love. Which is Yokeisha Donnelly Brown. We got married. Okay. Then when they found out we got married. They put us in prison. And then my family had to come get us out of prison. And then the KKK came and grabbed one of my sons. Which is George Stanley. He was actually deaf. And he couldn't talk. So they chose him to kill for my sins. For me and Jokisha seeing of marrying each other and having relations, having sex and stuff. That was only supposed to be meant for men, not women, okay? So, that how Death Row, that how we started, me and my family started representing Death Row. Because me and my, and me and my first wife seen, okay, being gay or whatever. So, I'm finna show y'all, I'm finna read off what... I was told to save, okay, and put, and I'm going to put my own perspective on it, okay, but remember, only men was supposed to be gay, not women, okay, so this, so being gay is also dedicated to me, and I found out that abomination not even in the homosexuality versus Okay, it's, on, it's, it's in another verse that I'm going to show y'all. But it's going to be very long. Y'all might be a whole hour. I don't know. We're going to begin now. So, 1 Kings 15, 12. He expelled the male shine prostitute from the land and got rid of all the idols his ancestors had made. Um, I really don't know what that means. But back in the day, like I said, men can have boyfriends they can have for example if a man was if a man was married to a woman he can have a man on the side that's his prostitute okay um so his male prostitute had to get rid of everything even his ancestors just so he wouldn't squeal on his king okay Livius 1822 do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is despicable. Okay, like I said, whoever his prostitute is cannot have another woman, cannot have another man. Okay, so if he see his prostitute man, if he see, if he see his male prostitute with another woman, with a woman, he going to be mad. He going to say that's a sin, okay? Romans 132. Although they know God's righteous dis decree that those who do such things deserve death, they not only continue to do those, they do not, they not only continue to do these very things, but also approve of those who practice it, practices them. Okay. So whoever they whoever they God was, I'm here it was the Apple Fish. Apple Fish was they God, okay. Um He would let them know if they doing it right or they doing it wrong, okay. Or if he did not like they male prostitute on the side, he he said he deserved to die or something. They not only continue to do these very things, but also approve of those who practice them. So the so it is a whole bunch. It's like it's like a whole male circle of guys. They all had a male lover. Real shit. Okay. Next, Romans one twenty seven. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women, and was inflamed with lust for one another. Like I say, a lot of men will leave their wives to be prostitutes for the other men, for the other kings, or they would just leave their wives, okay? Because they love men, okay? I mean, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, 
you don't you don't condemn because you don't condemn other body because they want to be gay or something. I don't know. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their effort. Then they will feel bad about it, okay? And I thought I feel like they male prostitutes were black men, okay? Maybe they black men didn't like it, or if they black men did like it, they would feel ashamed because they probably be white or something. I don't know. Um, so Livy is another one. Olivia is 18, 22 through 24. Do not have sexual relations with an animal and defy yourself with it. When I see animal, I'm thinking of African American, but also they were having sex with animals. They have um um what's that word for it? It's already be that bastard teeth that stuff came out. Okay, like I said, remember they told I told you they were having sex with monkeys. So they was having sex with animals, okay. But I feel like since it's in here, I feel like I mean that's that I mean that is normal though. You ain't supposed to have sex with no animal. But um it also also could be by a color person as well. A woman must not present herself to an animal to have sexual relations with it. That is a provision. Yeah, it's about um, interracial connections as well, okay? A woman is not supposed to have sex with an animal, which is the African-American. Like they say, they call us animals, okay? 24. Do not defy yourself in any of the ways. Because this is how the nations that I am going to drive out before you become defiled. Um, like I said, it's about to go away, okay? People about to come on out with it, okay? They already doing it. Next, Levius, Prenny 13. If a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detectable. They ought to be put to death. They blood would be, they their blood would be on their own heads. I really don't know what that means, but I feel like it's the same question, okay? I feel like it's the same thing, okay? If a man has a, a secret gay lover on the side, he's not he's not going to share his gay lover with his woman. And if they do, they will get put to death because I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know that part. But whatever it is, is wrong, okay, to them, okay, to whoever. Okay, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Okay, like I said, the kingdom of God is about Apple Fisher, okay, before, you know, other gods came into the picture, Okay. They will not, okay, they will not, or oh, they trying to get the kingdom of God, the real kingdom of God, okay, but they not. Um, I don't know, they did molest the real God or something, or rape him, or it's about Jeepers Creepers or something, I don't know. Neither the sexual immortal, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men, okay. Um. I don't know the net part, okay. Ten. Nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanders, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God, okay. Yeah, these these secret male lovers, they are not going to gain nothing from this, okay. They're not gonna get shit when they love or die, okay. I I seen I ain't gonna lie, I done seen some shit like that before in court. Okay, 11, and that is what some of you were, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were, sa you were my bad, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, and by the Spirit of our God. Um, like I said, if you confess your sins to the gods, they will forgive you, basically. If you have been caught with that, okay? Caught doing that, okay? Next, 1 Timothy 1, 8 through 11. We know that the law is good if one loses it properly, okay? We also know that the law is made not for the righteousness, but for lawbreakers and rebels, the ungodly and sinful, the unholy and irreligious, 
for those who kill their fathers or mothers for murder wars. Now, this is not even about homosexuality no more. It's about something else, okay? Uh, basically saying don't kill your father and mother for uh, for another person, okay? Um, mm -hmm. um, 10. For the sexual immoral, for those practicing homosexuality, for slave traders and liars and prejudices, and for whoever else is contrary to the sound documents. Like I said, these I think was, I think the secret gay lovers were slaves. They have no shores, you know. If they did, you know, they didn't even have a shores at that time, okay. They didn't want that, okay. That's why it's main, ain't gonna lie, it's mainly black men in the United States that is gay than any other race I ever met, okay? Trust me, I mentor gay black guys. I mean, I mentor gay African Americans. Okay, shit crazy. Okay, um, but nothing wrong with that. But you know, I'm just saying how many. It's a lot, y'all. Eleven that conforms to the gospel concerning the glory of the blessed God, which He entrusted to me. Okay. Yeah, like I said, the slave have no choice. They have to conform to this. Okay. Next is Hebrews 13, 1 through 5. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Okay. That could be about incest, okay? Or it could be about brothers having sex with brothers or something. I don't know. Two. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing some, by for by so doing some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Um, um I really don't know what that means, y'all. Yeah, okay. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison, and those who are mistreated as if yourself were suffering. They were like to talk about stuff like this because I don't want to ever forgive them people as well, okay? I don't want to forgive them. They've been through some shit, okay? The slaves, they've been through some shit. They've been through some things, okay? And that's why I talk about it. They why I like to help free people's souls and stuff. I feel like it's the right thing to do. Okay, and I do suffer with them, okay? Next, marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure. For God will judge the adulterers and all the sexual immorals, okay? Um, it's about, you know, watch, watch, my, watch the other spiritual breakdown about adultery and marriage, okay? Next, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Okay. So, like I said, um, you're supposed to just be living free and happy and in peace, okay? We will be provided, okay? We always been provided by from the Most High, okay? That's what they're saying. This is what the, the Bible saying. This Bible saying, okay? Um. Or vice versa, okay. Next, John 8, 7 through 11. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. I feel like that was Jeremiah is telling them, okay. Even when they was out of his body suit, my son seen how they did me, okay. Um. But he's saying they they are not without sin, okay? They think they righteous and pure. No, y'all not, okay? Eight, again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. If this, those who heard it began to go away, one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left, with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned her? Um, my mind just went blank right there. I don't know what to say on that one. 
She just straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned her? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, Go now and live your life and live your life of sin. Okay. So basically, what I get from that is nobody, they never got condemned, and somebody could be condemning them. Could be me, okay? And. Once I do that, I can leave without sin. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be counted for this, okay? I'm not going to be, I'm not, I'm, this is not a sin. I'm not going to be counted for this. I'm not going to be in football with the real God, okay? I'm not in football, okay? So, I hope y'all enjoy this. I'm out about this Bible verse. And I got a long one for y'all, which might be an hour long, okay? Hope y'all enjoy. I'm out, peace.